Alright, hey everybody, Dragon55 here, playing some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare again. And now I'm gonna tell you guys if this game worth getting, so you skip it and all that other stuff. And yes, I was recording this through the PS4 capture card, and of course, when you're playing with friends, you can't really can record your voice and do all the other stuff because your mic is connected to PS4, yada yada yada. It's a good, a good change, but. It requires a whole lot of work and decided to do it through this. Alright. So now you guys all know how much I hated Call of Duty. It's like it was pure shit. I, I was telling everybody to skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it, and all that stuff. And with all these extra suits, they actually look like Black Ops too. So I'm like, uh, oh, you know, this is how path on this. But it turns out oh, thanks to the target deal, I'll tell you about in the other video. That, that's how I had to get this game. So I was like, okay, you know, got this game, Lords of Fallen, uh, what was that, Madden 15, I just must trade the other two, and, and only keep in Call of Duty, so I'm trying to get GTA, and, um, Little Bit Planet. No, I can't get all the games at the, at the same time, I wish I could, but everybody doesn't have all the, all that much money to spend like $300 or $200 in like, the same week, on, on just games and stuff. Even though you can with other appliances. But anyway, back to the point of this video. Yeah, so I decided to play it. So I was like, uh, you know, Call of Duty, not really expecting much. Only paid $120 for all three games, so not like $40 a pop. So I'm like, okay, so I expect the worst. Of course, first match in, I actually did pretty good. I think I was playing Inspected. I was disappointed that it only had like 12 people instead of just 18 people, which I don't understand. But at the same time, I kind of do. It's because the way, well, I guess the map's not really that big. It's like medium-sized maps. <clears throat> so they decided to drop it down to 12. Hopefully they bring it back to 18 in the future, but only time will tell. Alright. So, we play that. Then I played some, what was it? Uplink on here. And the very first Uplink match went like the score was 21 to 0. I'm like, oh wow. Like, this game's actually good. And the uplink mode is actually pretty fun. It might be like a basketball. Without two people just, without people just camping on that. But it's like every FPS game you can't camp on here. So then, did pretty good on that. So I decided to go to the story mode. Now, the graphics for the story mode, and I guess, yeah, you really face the graphics on the story mode much more better. This is a fast paced fast paced online can't even see the graphics that much, but um it's not really the best out there. I'm not trying to say not trying to hate on anything, but it's not really the best graphics out there. It's, it's pretty decent for them using the same engine for like the past ten years, eight years, seven years, whatever. Still using the Quake 3 engine. There we go. They may say it's a new engine to have it here. Actually, I heard such number say it's a new engine, but they never said what engine it is. So maybe do just doing the same thing as called as Infinity Infinity War did. It's like, hey, you know, we had a new engine, but it's not really a new engine. We just kind of modified it a little bit, and we just call it a new engine, which doesn't really make any sense. I guess they wanted to have such a new engine. They could have just said, hey, you know, this is um, the same engine we've been using, but we modified it a little bit to make it to make it more next gen. It's probably sound much more better when they say new engine. But anyway, story mode is actually pretty fun. It actually teaches like the basics of the actual suit. I haven't gotten that far on it. Far in it, so I haven't really seen Kit, Kevin Spacey that much. But it actually makes me want to play more. So I'm like, yes. I'm like, yes. I actually want to play the Call of Duty story and pay attention to it this time around. Because last year, Call of Duty Ghost, it was just, hey. He, God betrays you, and you follow him now. So, story mode looks promising. I will continue it, continue it, but I have so many other games to play at the moment. Um, the co-op mode on there is called Exo Survival, and I'm actually, I'm actually really impressed with it. With the, it's basically just like Modern Warfare 3 Survival, but with four people, and it actually requires much, is much more harder than. Than um, Modern Warfare 3 is. Because with this one, you have to have there's only three classes you can pick, and it's like a heavy uh, sprint and a average. 
So you're like a heavy, you don't really get to run that much. Um, speed, of course, you use extra suit, more abilities, and all that. And the average is basically it's just average. Securing Charlie. And you gotta face waves of enemies. Yeah, the last longest. <clears throat> but it's not easy as it sounds. Some ways it may have like assault drones or drones in the sky. I don't know what it's, I can't even really remember what it's called on here. Um, and you have attack dogs and you have enemies that actually use the exosuits just, just like you. So it's not really, it's not really like, oh, you know, it's going to be easy and all that. No, if you, if you don't work as a team, you will suck. You will suck. Trust me. I play with hope. I play with some people like that. And they're not that good. They just let you die, don't revive you, and all that. And for a revive, you can just finish the wave and automatically get revived. And he has some exo points, I guess it was called, or points. Like after you complete each wave, it's like a special build, special wave. With, meaning like you have challenges and stuff that you gotta do. To get more extra points, I'm not just gonna call it extra points. You upgrade your extra suit, your kill streak, your weapon. I guess that's what it's called. Oh yeah, and I have no idea what this laser is. No suit for you. Anyways, yeah, this is. I like it. I mean, because the way I felt Marvel Fit to it, it was just lacking things, and considering all that. It makes you wonder what the season pass is going to hold. They say you can play as zombies on there. Or you have zombie maps and stuff. But the way it's been looking so far, it actually makes you want to see, like, oh, you know, maybe I'll just get the season pass. But then again, I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like spending an extra $50 right away. I let the people at Xbox that get it first. Let them, let them test it and see if it's actually worth anything. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna wait for these guys, then decide on the on the season pass. Now getting back to the part that everybody cares about is the multiplayer. And yes, this is like any Call of Duty. It has little kids, he yeah, has people that enjoy their good and all that other stuff. But the online actually feels like something something actually new. I mean my friend I actually hate this Call of Duty, but he actually plays it, and, and half the time he, he just wants to play it on loan or play it with me. I mean, and I, and sadly, we met on Call of Duty, we left Call of Duty, then we came back to it, and we actually enjoy it again. But, um, yeah, it's actually like a new experience. I'm still upset that they have the game mode that's, that you can play without exosuits. It's having to defeat the whole purpose of the whole change that was trying to happen with Call of Duty. But, you know, can't really please everybody. Um, let's see. And the weapons, kind of, I still feel like they added like a new, a few new weapons and they copied a few weapons or modified it from previous Call of Duties and added it on here. That's where I feel like with the new weapons. But, with the, with the, it was like Black Ops 2. You had like a little point system. You had 13 points. And you can, if you add a kill streak or you add a perk and all that extra stuff with gun, it takes, it takes up a point. So it actually makes you think. Makes you think. Like, yeah, you to actually pay attention to your classes, not trying to mess it up. Can't have the extra two ability. Can't have everything. And surprise, uh, not surprise, I got a double kill right there. So it's like. You gotta actually be mindful and not just pick any class and own and rape the day. Well, actually, you can, but not all the time. And that's really it. And they had a DNA bomb. You gotta get 30 kills in a row. So that's actually good. So I haven't seen anybody besides an infected to get the DNA bomb. So maybe, maybe I'll see one in the match pretty soon. Maybe I'll be the one to get the DNA bomb here, yeah, right? I'm not. I'm not that good. But this game, <clears throat> if you guys think, you guys think about it or stuff like that, or it may say it's like, yeah, you know, it's gonna be the same Call of Duty. Kinda, not really the same Call of Duty. 
of course you still get the lag and it glitching and everything. But it's like every time the Call of Duty first comes out new. And the clan matches have been <clears throat> has been delayed like a little bit due to Sledgehammer saying like, oh you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna get like the best type of multi clan matches, we'll make sure you're working right. And so yeah. I say like this game is actually pretty fun with friends. You wanna play the wanna play by yourself as play by yourself. Like if it's the best quality player out there, then it's definitely a good for you go for you. If you still thinking about it, I say you can't really do share play due to the reasons they blocked it. And so that video ends right here. Do apologize for this. So um yeah guys, Call of Duty's worth it. And that's all I have time to say. So until next time guys, stay safe and happy gaming.